guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in a fun collab for Sarah's virtual cookie party hosted by Sarah from Finding My Mommy Way. And today I'm going to show you how to make these traditional Puerto Rican cookies called Besitos de Coco. Stay tuned to find out how. This cookie doesn't have many ingredients which I love. It's pretty basic. It is a brown sugar and coconut based cookie. And all you need are three cups of coconut flakes, half a cup of flour, four egg yolks, one cup brown sugar, one fourth cup butter, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and chocolate chips. To get started, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then start by creaming your butter and sugar together. And then you want to go ahead and separate your eggs. I have this cool little egg separator I got from one of my kids' fundraisers. Um, we want to keep the yolks for this recipe, but I'm going to put the egg whites into a bowl because I can use those for a breakfast. So we'll just separate all four eggs and use all four egg yolks in the recipe and keep the egg whites for something different. Once you've added in your four egg yolks, you want to go ahead and start adding in the rest of the ingredients, starting with the vanilla, then the flour, then the coconut, and just mix it up until it's a sticky cookie dough consistency. You definitely want to use a non-stick surface for these cookies because they are kind of sticky. So I'm using this silicone mat on my pan. You could also use parchment paper. And I'm just going to scoop it out with this small ice cream scoop and stick them in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. When your cookies are golden brown, you want to go ahead and pull them out and let them cool a little bit on the pan. And in a double boiler, you want to put some chocolate chips. I put about two handfuls of chocolate chips. And I also add a splash of milk. This is optional. I just like to get a creamy consistency in my chocolate. So I add a splash of milk and I want to just stir the chocolate until it melts. Now that the chocolate has melted, you want to drizzle it on your cookies. I just use a fork and kind of drizzle it. You could also use a squeeze bottle or any other way that you find is easy to drizzle. I just find this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. And I just drizzle chocolate over all of my cookies and transfer them over to a cooling rack and let them cool and they are ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and that you try it out. Let me know in the comments down below if you do. Thank you so much to Sarah from Finding My Mommy Way for including me in this virtual cookie exchange party. I really enjoyed it and I will leave her channel link down below as well as a list of channel links to all the other wonderful ladies taking part in this collab. Make sure to check them out. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying these recipe videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.